Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here about to listen to this, um, to Azalea Banks, um, talk about this whole Nicki Minaj and her little lap dogs coming at Cardi B left and right. Like yesterday, guys, I was exhausted, so I wasn't like really, I didn't make a video about Malibu Mitch, because I, I mean, why? Who is that? I don't know who that crackhead is. I don't know. It's like, I looked at her and I said, this malnourished, famished, hungry, thirsty, high sea fruit punch deprived bitch this bitch is as thin as her bangs her bangs are malnourished her body's malnourished she's skinny her bangs are skinny i'm not gonna ever address or make a whole video showing any receipts on a bitch that is literally worthless and literally came out the hospital and and they said she came out the hospital 24 hours prior to trying to at cardi b asking her what's up trying to get cardi b to fight and I'm like, bitch, go find your appendix. Do you know how serious that is? When you have a, a, a appendicitis, usually you have to remove your appendix because you have an inflammation of the appendix going on. So basically you went through surgery or whatever the fuck happened to you. And because you want a moment because you host cannot eat without Cardi B. And if this is how you know Cardi B's the new, this is how you know Cardi B's queen, the real queen of rap, queen of rap. And little Kim is the one that, passed the torch on to her little Kim already had gave Cardi B her title like her, little Kim passed it over to her he said she said I passed it over to Cardi B and that is basically you know legitimate because don't nobody give a fuck about a Foxy Brown Foxy Brown can't even hear her coronation like how the fuck are you gonna crown somebody or try to crown um motherfucking Nicki Minaj anything when you can't even hear the ceremony the, the ceremony bitch you cannot hear the ceremony to crown anybody you cannot even hear the crown jingle jing a ling a ling a ling the jewels on the crown you cannot hear it you cannot crown you cannot hear the ceremony you can't hear the opera the co the choir singing you cannot hear none of that okay it's like you cannot crown anybody you don't have the the, the census to do that okay god bless her soul i hope her hearing came back but anywho, um, cause they were like, oh, you know, Foxy Brown entered the chat and said she cried. Girl, you don't have, I don't even know not, I don't know not one Foxy Brown record. I've never heard of a Foxy Brown. That was the girl that tried to go up against Kim and Kim ate her ass up with her career. All I know is that there's one line that Foxy Brown, I know of her, which is Il Nana. Il Nana, like when I when I want to play around and I'll say I got good pussy, but like I got that Il Nana, but I've never even heard that song. All I know is that one line. All I know is that one line. People say that's Foxy Brown's line, and I'm like Il Nana, that's from Foxy Brown. But other than that, I don't know any of her music after that. That just that just tells you a lot because I basically they came out like Kim came out first and then Foxy came out and they tried to put them up against each other and Kim ate her ass up like who the fuck is a Foxy Brown to little Kim like Foxy Brown is not influential or impactful in any kind of way and Nikki tries to fake like that's her idol but bitch you're not wearing black lipstick and you're not dressing like Foxy Foxy was trying to imitate Kim everything you have is but it is Kim you don't want to admit that Kim is your idol she was on live talking about some old oh, Foxy's my idol girl shut the fuck up no she's not you're not Foxy's not the black Barbie. You you copy Kim. Everything is Kim 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 Kim. Okay. You just you're you're just arrogant and you just cannot admit that you love the fuck out of Kim and you admire her. That's your idol. But you wanted Kim's spot, so therefore you cannot admit like oh I love Kim because you basically wanted to take Kim's spot and you didn't take it because look at how you're acting. If you took Kim's spot, you would not be acting like a peasant, beefing and you know acting a fool with all these females and using these bitches to fight your battles for you because all these bitches that's coming for Cardi, that they're all they're all being sent by Nicki Minaj, allegedly. They're all being sent by Nicki Minaj, allegedly. In my opinion, they're all being sent by Nicki Minaj. And they definitely, one by one, it's very clear, one by one, you see all of these bitches, they cannot get, they, they, they didn't get no clout off of Super Freaky Girl how they were supposed to. They need Cardi in order to make headlines they need cardi in order to make any type of report nobody was fucking caring about them with super freaky girl nobody was writing about them nobody was reporting on them about super freaky girl don't nobody give a fuck about that whack ass shit that they that the that the barbs bought as far as the number one she got that whack ass shit the barbs bought for her no it's the beefs with cardi it's the cardi coming for cardi that's what gets these bitches attention and that's why i say if you need to whenever you got six, seven bitches coming for you all at once and you got one dumb ass, soft ass, whack ass, old ass, sex offender, pussy giving ass, weak bitch 
she's the ringleader of all these hoes and these hoes is coming for you you are the queen cardi you are the queen and i definitely feel like cardi at this point cardi needs to just pay these bitches and no mind she needs to not pull up on bitches okay these bitches is soft okay these hoes can't fight how the fuck do you pull up right after cardi leave cardi was circling cardi was circling the block for two hours straight was in high bridge for two hours okay bitches knew she cardi posted where she was bitch i'm here what's up you ask you 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 say you want to link you want to fight this bitch literally malibu barbie or what whatever the fuck her name is literally said to cardi oh you better not subtweet me and you better not come at me because i'm not the one how you add a bitch, how you sit up there and say, I'm not the one. Basically, you don't want to be came for, right? But you act the bitch that you don't want to be came for from. Like, how do you, how I say it? How do you say, oh, though you better not come for me. Like, as if you don't want to be came for. And then you act the bitch that you are basically trying not to be came for all at the same time. Instigating a whole beef and trying to instigate a response from her. So you at Cardi B looking for smoke. You talking about you don't want the smoke. You don't want bitches to come for you. And you at Cardi B looking for problems. That's what got me. I was like, so bitch, you're looking for a moment. You're hungry. You shaped like a ramen noodle. You're skinny as fuck. You're not even eating. Like you're not even like, oh, Glorilla, slim, sexy, eating good, rich bitch. No, you're like famished. You're poor. So you basically at Cardi B. Okay, you struggling, bitch. You at Cardi B, looking for smoke, looking for a moment, looking for some type of motherfucking recognition because Nicki Minaj couldn't give it to you because she's old and dried and washed up, okay? Um, old as rotten grape. You go, super freaky girl couldn't give you the clout you needed, so you go at Cardi B for clout. And you got it. You got way more recognition from trying to at Cardi B than super freaky girl, okay? You are rolling loud at the audience, in the audience, and you got a whole song with Nicki Minaj and she didn't even pull y'all up on stage to perform. And all y'all hoes was at Rolling Loud. Do you not understand that that's what Nicki Minaj is? She used your stupid asses to try to create a whole fucking um, ring, a whole fucking boxing, again, a whole boxing. She, cre- she basically rallied up all these bitches to create a whole boxing ring against Cardi B. And these bitches is at Rolling Loud. Nikki is up Uzi's ass who's cheating on her left and right from the day he got her. Okay, when she was a side bitch to Britney, all the way up until Britney left, she got put in main bitch position. Uzi's been cheating on JT ever since then. She's up Uzi's ass. Y'all all at Rolling Loud. And y'all got a super freaky girl remix and Nikki didn't even pull y'all up to perform with her. Cardi would never. Cardi would have used that moment to put all y'all bitches up on stage and y'all would have rocked out together. Okay, Nicki Minaj didn't even give Super Freaky Girl a video. It was brought out. And I realized, like, yeah, like, she didn't even give these hoes a video. Like, she used you bitches. She did not want to put y'all on and, you know, make y'all queens and recognize y'all as queens. This bitch was using you guys to create, to divide and conquer and to come against Cardi. What is happening now to Cardi is what Nicki Minaj rallied these girls up for. This bitch is soft. She cannot take Cardi down by herself. She's tried. So she needs other rap bitches to do her dirty work for her. Okay, so it was Akbar, then it was JT, then this Malibu Raymond Noodle girl or whatever with the thin ass bangs. Okay, looking real dirty, dusty, dingy, stressed, depressed, and in distress. Like literally, just poor. Like just looks like fucking poor. And then it's like, damn bitch, like you literally look bad. You look bad out here. And then it's like, for me, I'm like Cardi. You know, she's a street bitch at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, it's like at some point you got to change. You got to grow up. You got to grow up. You got to realize these bitches are not on my level. JT's not on your level. She's a dumb bitch. Okay. She's going to follow her on Uzi until he gives her an STD. God forbid. Um, Malibu, whoever. This bitch is nowhere near Malibu. She's poor. I don't know rich bitches to live in Malibu. Um, she's not going nowhere. Akbar is bad, Bill. She's shaped like a mattress. She's built like a submarine. She's not going anywhere, okay? And it's like, I want to see bitches like Akbar win because she's hungry and desperate for fame and money. And I can see and she got like 16 kids that she just now started to take care of. But it's like, when you hate on another bitch, blessings don't come to you, okay? Then you got Bia. I, I see Bia. I, don't, I, I haven't seen her come yet. 
but I, I know more is to come. I know these bitches is lining up, but Cardi has been lining these bitches up. Cardi has been definitely clearing these bitches left and right. She's been putting these bitches in a place. She has been, but it's like at some point when you see all this shit happening to you and when you see these bitches, how they coming at you. And when you see the, the, the fat bitch with the fat arms, she's the ring leader and the head honcho. She's the mother to all of these little dusty ass, dirty ass, dirty diaper, three day old diaper wearing ass bitches. When you see that she is the mother to these dirty ass sons and daughters, you got to just basically say, Hey, fuck these hoes. I'm better than them. I'm doing better than them. I, I, I rap better than them. It's over with. I'm not going to argue with you bitches. What I will say before I play this video is this. Nicki Minaj is a lame bitch, okay? Um, and I feel like, you know, I, in my personal opinion, feel like she's sending all these bitches to try to take Cardi down. She's trying to fluster Cardi B and trick Cardi out of her spot, okay? Cardi just w went on stage with Bad Bunny, and the whole crowd went stupid when Cardi came out. And this is like songs from her first album. And we're like four years later and Cardi still has hype and momentum from her first album. That's how much of a classic she created. Okay. Literally her first album is still riding to this day. So it's like when Cardi B album, her second album comes out, I know it's going to be freaking amazing. You know, people are waiting for it and I'm not rushing her. I'm not rushing her. All of this shit is preparing her for greatness and even more elevation even more elevation because these bitches they're coming for her but when cardi drops that album number two these bitches are going to be in the bathroom throwing the fuck up they're going to be gagging they're not going to know what the fuck to do these bitches is jealous they're mad because they're mad because cardi b um is on top she's the top rap bitch Nicki minaj is envious of cardi b's success so she's sending all of these bitches to um you know literally bully cardi b but cardi b is in pussy she's not against the wall here i am she's not that type of bitch no she's not that bitch she's not that girl okay like it's like really ridiculous malibu mitch you at cardi to pull up or you not even pull up you at cardi to fight cardi actually pulls up to to the hood like what's up i mean i'm here cardi circling the block for two hours straight this bitch is literally gonna wait till cardi leaves the timestamps show that Cardi was there for two hours. Just like minutes after Cardi B leaves, this bitch want to pull up and take pictures and act like she's at High Bridge too. You soft ass bitch. I wanted to fight her myself for that weak ass, pussy ass move. You gonna wait till Cardi leave to pull up and take pictures to try to say you in the same area and this bitch was behind the gate. You wasn't even on the streets, bitch. You was behind the gate. You were secure. And then Cardi even informed and, and, and let it be known, this bitch wasn't even in the same hood as me. This bitch was in a, in, in a hole on the other side of town. This bitch was on the other side. She wasn't even near where Cardi was. Like this bitch literally pulled up to fake like she was ready to fight Cardi B. And she came after Cardi left after cardi left and then when she and when and when everybody on the internet went crazy like you soft ass bitch you wait till cardi leave cardi was there for two hours fucking straight in her sweats ready to go this bitch is gonna say oh i need a grace period you soft ass bitch that's soft hoe talk that's Nicki minaj talk no nobody gets a grace period during a fight oh i gotta put on my fighting clothes bitch what if you beefing with a bitch and if you at a bitch you should have your fighting clothes already on because you want smoke you added her so you should have already had that on. And then when you see her pull up to High Bridge and when she posted, baby, in point five, I'm there. This bitch is telling me she's ready to go. Okay, well, I'm already ready to go. I want you. So five minutes less, five minutes tops, I'm there. It took you two hours to get to the fight. And then you wait until she leave to post pictures to say that, oh, you there? Bitch, you, and you need to go look for your appendix. That pissed me the fuck off. How the fuck do you sit up there and wait till Cardi leaves? Cardi, two hours is more than enough time for your op to get there. Anybody who's in a real street fight who really from the streets know that two hours is more than enough time for you to get to the location, okay? Bitches who really want to fight, get to the fight in like 15 minutes, tops. Oh, that bitch at High Bridge? Okay, boom, boom, let's go. We out, we out, we out. Like, let's go. We out. Either I'm by myself or I'm with my people. Like, we out. Period. We out. This bitch, two hours? Ho, you wasn't trying to come fight. You were you were there to take pictures. You were there as a tourist. You were touring High Bridge. Cardi came to fight, okay? This bitch got so fucking bored. Cardi was like, well, damn, this bitch not gonna show up. She starts doing um videos, dancing to um her cousin, Glorilla, tomorrow. 
because you're a weak bitch. She's literally there. And, and she, Cardi was literally posting like, I'm here. Look at the time. I'm here. I'm here. You're not here. I'm here. And then Cardi was like, in the car, she was like, okay, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm, I'm out. This bitch finna say, we need a grace period. Oh, um, and, um, no bitch, stay ready so you won't have to get ready. You added her. You should have been ready. You should have been ready. You wanted the fight. You, the thing is Malibu, Malibu, Malibu ditch. She didn't expect Cardi B to do that. She didn't expect Cardi to say, what's up, bitch? I'm here in your hood. What's up? She didn't expect that. So her, her pussy ass stayed home. When she saw Cardi was hybrid, she stayed home strategically, just like a pussy bitch. Strategically, she waits till Cardi leaves. Then to save face, she goes, oh, I'm here. And you're behind the gate, bitch. You're not even on the block. You're not even on the street. You're not even on the corner by the stop sign. You're behind the gate. You're secured in front of somebody's fucking front yard. Are you serious? You're a weak ass, lame ass, soft ass, jello soft, grandma gum soft ass bitch. These hoes don't need to get no motherfucking attention from Cardi. After Malibu ditch, I would have, if I was Cardi, I would have said, I'm not stunting these hoes. These hoes don't want to fight. These hoes don't sell records. These hoes are unsuccessful. They're broke compared to me. I live in, do you see the house that Cardi B live in? Do you see the mansion that Cardi B lives in? These bitches could never, you whores are poor. Y'all cannot come for Cardi B. If I was Cardi B after the Malibu ditch, I would have said you're a fucking joke. And any girl after her that come, whether it's Bia or whoever the fuck come, I would have ignored it. Like, I would have ignored it. That's embarrassing. You really pulled up, like, literally. I think it was 15 minutes, 20 minutes after Cardi pulled off. You pull up, bitch. So you was watching Cardi's story. And so when she left, right after she leaves, 20 minutes, you go and you pull up. And you want to take pictures trying to prove you in high bridge. Man, get, bitch, get your little Raymond Noodle ass back in the motherfucking house and sit in the motherfucking cup and, 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 and sulk there, bitch, in the Raymond Noodle cup. And sulk there and wait for them to prepare you with hot sauce and all that and get prepared to be eaten whole. You almost got ate up by Cardi B, but you didn't show up. You didn't show up. Like, go the fuck in the house and fix your appendix. Go find your appendix. And if you find it, put her back in your body and heal and go to bed. Bitch. And as soon as she, and, as, and then she's like, oh, you need to give me a grace period. I got to put my fighting clothes, all these excuses. Soft ass hoes, that's what they do. They make excuses. I gotta put them off. I gotta go put on my fighting clothes. And then, um, and, and, um, you only give me an hour. No, Cardi gave you two. Cardi was out there for two hours. It was two, baby. You had two hours. And even an hour is too long. You should have been there. If you at her, you wanna go. You wanna fight. So why the fuck it take you an hour to get to the motherfucking scenery? Why does it take you an hour to, why does it take you after Cardi leaving for you to pull up, you soft, weak bitch? Y'all hoes stop playing with my cuz and y'all hoes don't want to fight. Y'all hoes don't want to fight. This whole maybe Malibu ditch made me want to fight her. She made me want to snatch her motherfucking other organ out for Cardi B for being a weak ass bitch. I don't like weak bitches. These are the type of bitches that I really want to fight and fold the fuck up. Like I want to fight her for Cardi B. Cause how dare you? How dare you at a bitch? The bitch pulls up and you literally are at home shivering, spooked and nervous. Then wait till the bitch leave. For you to pull up and try to fake like you ready to fight. You pull up for a photo shoot, bitch. And you tag your location as if you in high bridge. Bitch, and you want and, and Cardi says you on the other side. You're not even in the same location as where she was. You soft pussy asshole. Y'all hoes need y'all hoes tighten the fuck up. Put the assholes tighten the fuck up, please. Y'all is embarrassing. Y'all bitches is embarrassing. And then the thing is, is that Nicki Minaj, you're a weak ass bitch. Look at the bitches you're sending Cardi B's way. Cardi is eating these hoes up. And Malibu Ditch is the, is the most embarrassing bitch out of them all. That pissed me the fuck off. How do you at somebody and the person's in your hood and you, and you, and you pull the, you wait till they pull off for you to pull up, you weak bitch. And you started the fight. You added her. Don't nobody know where the fuck this bitch came from. Nobody knew where the fuck she came from. Everybody like, okay, I'm, I'm saying it in my comments. I'm talking to my, my, my little internet friends and I'm like, y'all, I think it's going to be Bia next because she be hella dick riding. It's going to be Bia. It wasn't Bia. It was this bitch. It was her. And I heard Bia got a diss song coming out. Y'all one hit wonders need to say that shit and Cardi better ignore that shit on wax. Okay, Cardi already won. Cardi proves she's the queen because guess what? All you bitches coming for her 
And if you if you don't have bitches coming for you or hating for you, you ain't doing shit. Cardi is that bitch. She got all these bitches coming for her, including the oldest bitch out of the bunch, including Granny. Okay, sex offender puss Granny. Okay, sex offender giving pussy Granny Nicki Minaj. She has that bitch coming for her and her whole motherfucking daughter, her whole football field of kids. They coming for her and Cardi's just clearing them one by one. It was Malibu ditch for me. That poor whore, it was her for me. Okay? Them thin ass bangs. Bitch, you are you are sick. Literally. Malnourished, hungry, famished, unfed. Okay? You look worse than a foreigner. It's foreigners out here fatter than you, bitch. I'm talking about float to America fatter than you. And you are in America and have been living in the Bronx for how long and you look like that? You shaped like a noodle? A number two pencil, bitch? Floss? Is you serious? You soft, weak bitch. And then it's like, this is what gets me, y'all. She said she needed a grace period. She said it an hour. Oh, you don't just go and, and take pictures for an hour. Bitch, you're you're dumb. Because an hour is more than enough time needed for you. It was more than enough time given for you to pull up. She's going to say, oh, yeah, like, you know, it's off a show. Bitch, you added her. Cardi was minding her business. You added her. You wanted a show. You wanted a show. You added her. You was acting a fool. You let these little pages hype you up. Oh, the people trying to gaslight Cardi. Oh, Cardi's coming for all the girls on Super Freaky Girl. Y'all, you guys are weird. Cardi has not said not one word to these bitches. All these bitches been coming for Cardi, okay? And Cardi has been clearing all these bitches. The biggest clear was JT, okay? Because her best friend fucked her man, allegedly. And I'm here for it. But my thing is, is that Malibu ditch, you added Cardi. Cardi showed you, bitch, it's, it's up. I'm link. I'm ready to link. I'm here. And you never showed up. And you wait till she leaves to, to pull up to do a photo shoot. To fake like you was ready to fight with no appendix, okay? Malnourished, sick as fuck, pale in the face. Look like she got no motherfucking electrolytes, no potassium, no vitamins to her body. Looking sick and pale as fuck. Looking thin as fuck. Looking, looking ready to be broke the fucking half okay you thin bitch okay and then gonna say oh well let's finish this tomorrow now you want to fight tomorrow oh my god so you, you needed a grace period then you say you needed to put on your fighting clothes that's why you couldn't make it all these excuses then you say that oh let's do this tomorrow without the show when you started the show by adding cardi b how shut up you played yourself. You look stupid. You're being clowned all over the internet. You played yourself, okay? Point proven. Cardi proved I'm a, I'm a rich bitch with a whole lot of money, but I'll still break your hoes in half. And that's exactly what she did to Nicki Minaj, but she could not get to Nicki Minaj because of security, okay? That's why Nicki Minaj has yet to direct anything Cardi B's way because she's a soft-ass bitch. And all the bitches that's coming for her is soft too. And Malibu Ditch is the softest, and that's embarrassing. Ho, pick your sons correctly. Nicki Minaj, pick your bitches correctly. You picked the wrong bitches. You picked your weak bitch that picked weak bitches to come for Cardi, and Cardi has been eating your hoes up all week, and it kills her. Trying to post Jade. Okay, bitch, I'm going to post Redbone, period. As she should. Like, that shit irritated me. Like, you weak-ass bitch. That's why I didn't even I didn't even care to go on Malibu Mitch and to look up her shit or anything because I got the 411. Everybody already know this bitch pulled up after Cardi left strategically because she was not trying to fight and made all these excuses and then ended it with, oh, let's do this tomorrow. Bitch, bitch no, you don't add a bitch today and want to fight tomorrow. You don't reserve the fight for tomorrow, bitch. If I add a bitch today and a bitch gets me her location today, I'm going to be there. And we're going to fight, win or lose. I'm not waiting until tomorrow. If I add a bitch today, we're going to fight today. Okay? You weak ass hoes got to stop. You weak ass. And then it's like Bianca from Love and Hip Hop added her and was like, you want to fight Cardi, but I tried to fight you. And you blocked me on all social media platforms. So, oh, you don't have no smoke for um Bianca, but you had smoke for Cardi B. Thing is, is that she didn't think that Cardi was going to come stoop to her level. She thought that Cardi, okay, Cardi's a rich bitch in a huge mansion. She's not going to come try to fight me. And Cardi said, no, I'm still that bitch. I'm still that blood. I'm still that bloody gang. I'm still that girl. I'm still her. Yup, bloody, yup, blood. I'm still her. I'll meet you. I'll meet you in the trenches. And she was in the trenches. And that bitch had nowhere to, she had nothing to say. She didn't pull up. That bitch stayed at home and she was spooked and nervous. 
Like, you soft-ass, weak-ass, simp-ass, trick-ass bitches. Y'all hoes go sell y'all pussy for fun. Stop using Cardi B for clout and funds. Y'all hoes not gonna make no money. Go sell y'all pussies, okay? Go get sex offender pussy to make y'all some money because Super Freaky Girl didn't make y'all no, no money, clearly. Because y'all keep coming for Cardi for money, okay? Y'all hoes make the news when y'all fuck with Cardi. Now, when y'all fuck with Nicki, that remix got y'all nothing. When y'all fuck with Cardi, that's when y'all get articles written on y'all. And that's a shame. Like, oh my God, I was so in, I was so fucking upset. I was like, are you serious? It was a cackle to me, Malibu, bi- Malibu ditch. You're a weak ass bitch. You embarrassed yourself. People got the timestamps. You, you embarrassed yourself. Cardi sunned you. Bitch was out there for two hours. You could not make it to the fight in an hour and 30 minutes. Bitches that really want to fight me at fight set in 10 minutes. Bitches be DMing bitches like, hold on, hold on, wait. I'm, 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 I'm on my way, ho. Don't move. Don't move. I'm on my way. Like, if I'm, if I'm really trying to fight a bitch, knowing me, bitch, I'm on my, like, okay, say less. I'm not finna, I'm not finna DM nobody because I don't have to. Because I'm gonna pull up. That's just me. But if I, for example, for any reason were to be caught up in any traffic or anything stupid, I'm finna DM the bitch. Hold on, bitch. I'm on my way. Don't worry about it. I'm a little late. I'm about, I'm about, I'm about 10 minutes late, but I'm gonna be there. It would never take me an hour to get to a bitch. Ever. And you wait till after she leave the post. What? Bitch. Y'all hoes go suck a dick and go eat some food and, and gain weight. Go gain weight, ho, and go heal your motherfucking body, bitch. You probably got influenza. You probably got coronavirus from being in that fucking hospital, bitch. You sick, bitch. These bitches is weird. Bitches is weird. But anywho, let's listen to my good sister Zelia Banks that I've always liked, by the way. I've always liked the Zelia Banks, always. Because I've always loved the truth that she tells. But anywho, let's talk. Let's listen to sis. And she looks very beautiful, by the way. I tell you in this video, yes, honey. She Hold is dog and them. Wait. Wait. chicken head the fact that the fact that this bitch that would not give a fuck about you on any other fucking day would never collab with you never share her platform with you is making you making all you bitches risk your own fucking platforms your own fucking shit like your own reputations to do her dirty work that this that bitch is too scared to fucking do all of y'all bitches look stupid and y'all bitches are some doja ass fucking bitches period some doja ass fucking bitches y'all bitch each and every one of y'all each and every one of y'all it's each and every one of y'all hoes each and every one of y'all hoes each and every one of y'all hoes whatever she, doja means in her hood Whatever she said is what the fuck it is. Doja ass bitches. I don't know what the fuck that means, but whatever Azalea Banks said, I second that. Doja ass bitches. Whatever the fuck that means, that's what the fuck y'all is. Y'all heard what sis said. Y'all hoes is dumb. In Miami, in Florida, what we say, these bitches is stupid, Roxy. These bitches is Roxy. These bitches is weak. You're a weak ass bitch. And then JT being from Miami, it irrit- it, it really, really embarrasses me. Because a bitch from Miami, you should know better, bitch. You should represent the culture better. Bitches from Miami, like, we don't move like this. I'm not a city girl at all. I am from Miami. But guess what? I'm from the other side, bitch. I'm from the smart side. I'm not, I don't, bitch, I am not a hood booger. No, I am not a gutter rat. I am ghetto. Yes, I am. I am very much so a hood rat. I am, don't, mm-mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm very intelligent. JT is an unintelligent bitch. Point blank, period. And she's an embarrassment to all of Miami, ho. Her and Carisha. Her and Young Miami. Then did he just fly 50 Cent's baby mama out the country? And bitch, you in a car with him today? You, you, you low in self-esteem, bitch. You literally let this nigga fly a whole bitch out. Did he 50 Cent's baby mother? He was out with her out the just just was out on a jet with her. And then he land back in the city and you in his car in New York. Oh, why? Because y'all hoes is so scared that y'all finna go broke and city girls don't sell records. Y'all hoes looking for niggas of financial security because you got a billionaire. You, you're you willing to let a nigga disrespect you like that? Like he's never going to take you serious, bitch. Like it's embarrassing. That's Carisha. And then you got JT. Uzi literally has been cheating on you since the day he got with you. You were the side bitch. He made you the main bitch. He's been cheating on you ever since. He does not respect you or love you. 
Okay. That's why you, you, that's why you don't like yourself. That's why you don't, that's why you sit up there and wear all this makeup and people think you look so pretty, but you hate yourself because Uzi don't fuck with you like that. You're just another piece of pussy to him. And Uzi's a check to her. And he know that he don't respect you. And you sit there and you following him around rolling loud and you, and you shacked up with a nigga that, that's cheating on you all fucking day and night. Y'all bitches is embarrassing and bad resting. And the thing is, it's a y'all bitches ain't getting no, you don't even have a ring. You don't even have a ring. This nigga, you, you, you letting this nigga cheat on you and you don't even, you don't even have a fucking ring. You don't need, you're not even a wife to say, you know what? I'm gonna fight for my marriage and I'm gonna make my marriage work. Like you don't even have a fucking ring. You a young girl. You free. You could go, you could go be with any nigga. You could literally leave Uzi today and go get with an astronaut. Literally, you're not married. You're not bound to this nigga. You don't, you don't have kids by this nigga and you choose to coop your ass up with Uzi Vert, bitch. You, you weak ass bitch. Okay, I'm embarrassed, ho. Ugh. Now, I hold myself in high esteem because I'm more than a fucking female rapper. I'm a fucking talented musician. I would never fucking mention any of you dumb ass. And what's- I know that's right. Azalea Banks really is not just a rap bitch. Azalea Banks understand it's an artist. She's a musician. She's an artist. Azalea Banks is a writer. Azalea Banks definitely is. She can out rap all of these bitches. Malibu Ditch, JT, Akbar, and Nicki Minaj. She can out rap all these hoes. Okay. Azalea Banks. If y'all don't know about Azalea Banks, go listen to her music. Okay. Azalea Banks is a artist. Okay. She's like a Kanye West. She's like a female Kanye West. Azalea Banks, her vocabulary, her eloquence is so... It's so wonderful and beautiful. She's so educated. Okay. Listen to Isaiah Banks's interview on hip hop. Her, her, her knowledge about hip hop. These bitches don't know nothing about no motherfucking hip hop history. These hoes don't know where the fuck hip hop comes from. JT was just asking the interview, is I'm American? Bitch don't even know if she's American or not. Where the fuck do you come from, ho? You're not Caribbean. You're not Haitian. I'm I'm Haitian. You're not Rihanna. You're not Barbadian. We're 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 black Caribbean women. Ho, you is American, ho. I'm American. I was born here, but my family's from Haiti. Okay, so I'm I'm a I'm a Haitian American woman. Okay, ho, you don't have any type of Caribbean or anything to you. You were born in the United States of America. What the fuck you mean? It's I'm American. Ho, what? What is that? What English class is that? Oh. But anywho, like Isaiah Banks said, like Isaiah Banks is way too high above in her music and her career. She's way too high in her artistry, her artistry. She's innovative. She's way too talented to be in the same conversation as an ignorant ghetto hood booger ass JT, a bitter old sex offender pussy having ass Nicki Minaj, a bad build submarine shaped Akbar and a, a Raymond noodle, no appendix having ass Mad- Malibu ditch. She is not the girl to go and mention these bitches' names because Isaiah Banks is above all of these hoes. Lyrically, mentally, Isaiah Banks is smart as fuck. And Nicki Minaj will never, ever, ever come for Isaiah because Isaiah will wash the fuck out of her. She'd rather sue bloggers than to sue Isaiah Banks, who's been saying that she's been on shit forever. Isaiah Banks has accused Nicki Minaj of everything in the book, Okay. But she'll never go after Isaiah because Isaiah will wash the fuck out of her. Okay? She don't she knows not to come for Isaiah Banks pen. You don't see her coming for Isaiah Banks pen. Everybody know Isaiah Banks is stupid in the booth. Everybody know that. But you want to sue bloggers though. Weak bitch. Just weak as fuck. The saddest part about it is that a lot of y'all bitches for a long time, y'all was in Cardi phase like, oh, we, yeah. like we like you. I came straight out the gate asking niggas in hip hop like, um, excuse me, okay, like, okay, I've been talking shit and y'all calling me menti- mentally ill, but this bitch is saying the same fucking shit and y'all giving her all the fucking credit. It turned into a beat from there, but in the very beginning, I always supported fucking Cardi B. I was always like, yo, that's my like little like spanish mommy like homegirl from fucking like right you know, middle school like we all got that spanish friend bitch in miami all we all we know in miami in florida it's filled with hispanics it's filled with all types of caribbean people haitian dominicans cubans mexicans you name them hispanic people period bahamians we are a caribbean 
melting pot and we have all types of cultures here not just caribbean too spanish spanish bitches my first best friend ever was a spanish bitch her name was julie andrade the bitch was from um nicaragua what was it nicaragua it, i think it was nicaragua the bitch was spanish and she was my first best friend okay we was kind of frenemies a little bit but she was my friend nonetheless julie andrade i will never forget her she came from a country I, it was a nicaragua it was something like that okay and it's like you just you're around the Spanish culture all day in Florida because that's basically where all the Caribbean people come when they're leaving their countries. Miami is very, very close to the Caribbean. This is this is the spot people come to. They come here. OK. And so all of our lives, all of our black Florida lives, we've always been around Spanish bitches. OK. I always used to go to the, before I went natural, I stayed at the Dominicans doing my hair. My friend's Spanish since I was a little girl. Like, like she said, she's my, my little Spanish mommy. Like, yes, I understand it on a deep level. Like we all got a look. My babysitter was Dominican. When I was a little girl, I had a Dominican Haitian babysitter. She taught me my, my Spanish. And I'm, um, what, what was it? She taught me how to count in Spanish from one to 100. Like she used to teach me Spanish when I was a little girl. She was my babysitter. Okay. My motherfucking abuelita. Fuck is you talking about? Like what? Like, yeah, like the little Spanish mommy on down the block. The Dominicans that do your hair. All that. Like we're going to. I'm I'm a little girl going to. I'm in high school going to my friend's quinceanera. If y'all don't know what the fuck that is, that's the 15th birthday for the girls. And in, in the Hispanic culture, they have their quinceaneras. I'm going to quinceaneras. Okay. Grace Garcia. Okay, shout out to my bitch from high school, period. <laughs> like what? We all got we all got our Spanish bitches that we used to hang with that we still fucking know. Fuck is you talking about? Like Cardi is I know too many bitches like Cardi B. Like it's like what? Florida's filled with Cardi B's. Like and Cardi B's is all who we used to hang with. Bitch, it's always a, it's always a Spanish bitch in the click. Period. Always a Spanish bitch in the click. Always. You always got at least one or two of them that you, one or two of them bitches you walking with, period, in Florida at least. I know that much. Like, it's filled it's filled with them in New York. And in Florida, it's also filled with them, okay? Like, you, you, what? I, 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 nigga, I'm from fucking Washington Heights, like, right there on the border. Like, Washington Heights and Harlem. Like, I know that girl. I know so many girls like her. Right. And the fact that all y'all bitches is letting y'all, like, Spanish girl jealousy fly right now is right. so fucking dusty. <laughs> and Cardi, come on, come on. Stop taking the fucking bait. Yeah. Stop taking the bait. You did shit that like niggas in rap can't even fucking do. Like you're like, like you got a diamond single. You know what I'm saying? Period. You got you got a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? This bitch had the this bitch has been in the game how many how many fucking years and she had to share her first Grammy. That's why she's fucking mad. She's fucking mad. She's mad. She mm. lost. Yep. Let her take that L and you stay out of it. Please. Don't let none of these bitches that have not put no work in or that have, that they don't, they don't got no swag. They don't got no fucking like no no clever lyrics, no nothing. Like who like why why are you talking to these girls? Yeah. Why? They these dirty bitches where the fuck they are, please. Period. Especially the dirty bitch JT. She's the dirtiest one to me. Malibu Ditch and JT are the dirtiest bitches to me. And I really, really, really don't like JT for the simple fact that Cardi B really fucked around. And like Isaiah Banks said, y'all bitches was in Cardi's face. Bitch, she was all up in Cardi's face. Oh my God. Because she was giving you your hit twerk. The shit that the biggest hit that you'll ever see in your whole fucking life. It was twerk. You was literally in Cardi B's face all fucking day. Okay. This and Nicki Minaj, Team Cardi. And then you flip like this all because why? Yeah, fake ass bitch. That's why your nigga got fucked on. And then Malibu Ditch was a Cardi dick sucker too. All these hoes, all these hoes was Cardi dick suckers. All of them. All of them was in her face. And it just shows Cardi. Now Cardi can see opportunists. Like Cardi said, all these bitches was never your friends, Cardi. They was never your friends. And these hoes, like you gave all of these hoes a, a fucking meal ticket. You gave, you gave, you gave JT food stamps. And the bitch just t completely took you for granted. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, oh, Jason Lee, he said, oh, Cardi and JT made up. I told y'all JT's a weak ass bitch. I told y'all she was going to be apologizing to Cardi B as quick as she came for her. 
Cause she knows the fuck what's right and wrong. She knows that Cardi was the only bitch that was really repping her when she was in jail, really fucking with her. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj didn't do shit for you, bitch. She didn't do nothing for your career at all, ho. Like you a whack ass bitch for that. JT would ne- could never be forgiven. If I was Cardi, I would never forget JT for that fake ass, whack ass shit that JT did. I would never, ever forgive that. That bitch could never stand in a room with me and speak to me ever. Ho, look the other way. You dog face bitch. Look the, look the fuck the other way and go chase your nigga that's cheating on you all fucking day. Okay. With no ring on your finger. You weak, stupid ass bitch. Insecure ass dog face bitch. I hate a fake ass bitch. How you sit in this girl face all day? Twerk, 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 twerk. All of a sudden you a barb. Bitch, what? These bitches still getting their nails done for $10 at MV. Eating $3 fucking $3 holla plate. Facts. Oh wait, uh uh-huh, excuse me. Her first number one single with another bitch. I forgot. Nikki still doesn't have a Grammy. Still don't. Okay, so (laughs) talk your shit. Talk your shit. But don't don't walk into this shit with these fucking whack ass bitches, cause Nikki's a whack bitch. Nikki's a whack bitch. She's a whack bitch, and whatever blood nigga that she got with her, he can't make no fucking moves anyway. At all. That nigga's a fucking sex offender. Any fucking move he makes, that nigga's going to jail for life. Period. And that's what I'm saying. This bitch, and this is what makes Nikki such. This is what makes Nikki even weaker. The fact that you think that a sex offender is a is is cool points a gangster. I told y'all in my other video, sex offenders are not gangsters. They're the most looked down upon niggas in the streets and in jail. Niggas in jail will rape niggas like Kenneth because why? Niggas don't like rapists in jail. Niggas niggas was niggas will literally in the streets will never shake hands with Kenneth because they don't respect sex offenders. You still in pussy, my nigga? You literally got bitches out here literally talking about you, 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 you got girls out here saying that you raped them and then they got you, 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 you on transcript saying shit, admitting the shit. What? Niggas don't, niggas don't respect that in the streets. Okay. Ain't no motherfucking gang. Nothing. Bitch, you're going to jail. You have a battery on your leg. You have no street cred. The fact that this bitch thinks that she got any type of gang street cred is hilarious to me. Bitch, you must not. Nikki was not born in the streets at all. She's a weak, wax, soft ass bitch. Like, at, her mentality is so fucking elementary. Like, how could you literally think that that marrying and having a kid by a whole sex offender is any type of street cred, bitch? Oh my god. Now Cardi B definitely has affiliation. She's connected for real, for real. Cardi B's respected out here in these streets. That's why she moves around comfortably. That's why she was in high bridge, not giving a fuck. Cause she know. Okay. And Malibu ditch knows. That's why she never showed up. But bitch, what? The other bitch, that bitch ain't got no motherfucking gang behind her. That bitch ain't got no motherfucking, she ain't got no motherfucking set. She don't have a, she doesn't have no motherfucking, no motherfucking stripes in the streets. Like, are you serious? Your husband is literally on the list. Who the fuck respects that? Nipsey Hussle would never brush shoulders with a nigga like Kenneth Petty. Are you serious? That's an OG. That's a gangster. Nipsey Hussle. Okay. That's the streets. Okay. He would never shake hands with a motherfucking Kenneth Petty. Bitch, is you serious? He would shake hands with Cardi B before anything. Okay. Respect. Like y'all, y'all niggas need to know that y'all need to, y'all need to understand gang and uh, and understand the streets, okay? Nicki Minaj is a is a weak bitch from Trinidad. This bitch don't know nothing about no motherfucking gang. The bitch came to New York and still don't know no still don't know no shit about gang, okay? Was never affiliated. Got married, tried to try to be affiliated, and failed. You go marry a sex offender, dummy. For life. Like please. Oh, uh, like after, after all this like personal growth that we've seen you do in the public and everything, the last thing I want to fucking see is you in jail. For real. Like Cardi got to control herself. Let this bitch die. Yeah, bitches. I I hope I hope your bitches at least getting some money, cause you know like the the quality of bitches that Nikki's trying to pick to like send out to Cardi. Y'all all broke. Broke. I said broke. that. 
with the exception. I said that. I said, look at the bitches that you're picking to come at Cardi. She's eating y'all hoes up by herself. Cardi is a one woman army. You sending three, you sending three, four, five bitches to her, and Cardi's eating these hoes up single handedly because these hoes are not on Cardi B's weight class. They're not in her weight class. And it's funny how Young Miami did not go defend her friend. Young Miami did not pop off for um the motherfucking um for for JT, okay? Because they're not really that you're not y'all not friends for real. Because JT's chasing dick, and and Carisha's chasing dick too. They're not true. They're not real friends. Like what? Where's the energy that you have for um Asian doll? Didn't you pop off an Asian doll for JT popping off an Asian doll or Asian doll popping off at JT, but Cardi B, Big Brim come through and you ain't got shit to say. And that right there lets you know the friendship right there. There is no friendship. That's why I said the city girls ain't finna last. Y'all hoes don't sign no records. You ch y'all chasing dick. That's why she's up Diddy's ass because she's trying to secure herself financially because they don't sell. That's why, that's why JT is, is up Uzi's ass for financial security because these bitches know they don't sell. They don't make no fucking money. They don't make no motherfucking records that make money. They don't sell. Cardi B doesn't have to do that. Cardi B is a platinum diamond selling artist. It's a difference. These hoes have to go suck dick and ride dick in order to be secure financially. These hoes are so scared. Carisha and Young Mike, Carisha and JT are so scared to go back to the hood. They, they, she's willing to share Diddy with 60 bitches and JT is, is, is okay with looking over the fact that Uzi cheats just to be financially secure. That's the real T. These bitches is chasing dick because they're not secure in their own careers. These hoes is broke. Okay. Compared to Cardi of fucking JT, which I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in that. Very. That's As JT. Like you're my favorite city girl. What the fuck are you doing in the middle of this? You're a fucking star. You're a fucking, you're a bona fide star, girl. Don't be letting these these fucking weak ass bitches gas you up to be in some fucking bullshit. No, ain't you about your money? Look where the money is. The money is with Cardi. The money is not with Nikki. Nikki can't even afford a hairdresser right now, okay? <laughs> she got the baby eating fucking canned can corn and sucking on chicken bones and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's sad because that's why everybody going off on JT because it's like, bitch, you stupid as hell. And that's where low self-esteem gets you. You got the most potential. You the, you supposed to be the smart one. But the thing is, Isaiah Banks, one thing I have to say that she probably don't know. JT got the JT... It's, it's ghetto. She's a bird. Okay. And me being from Miami, I'm a different type of female. I know females like JT. JT is a, is a hood rat. Okay. She is, she is grade a hood rat. Okay. She is literally the epitome of what you call a gutter sewer rat. Okay. Y'all just dress her up in nice clothes and expensive weave, but bitch, that's still a hood ass ghetto ass, nothing ass bitch. Okay. You got to understand OK, if Isaiah Banks was from Miami, she would understand and she would know what I'm saying. OK, so I see the potential that everybody think that JT have and she got the potential. But the thing is, JT is a bird. That's what you got to understand. That's why she's running around chasing after Uzi and fighting Nicki Minaj's battles. That's why she's doing that, because as much as a bitch may have talent, that does not mean the bitch is classy, got a brain, got, is smart. Doesn't mean the bitch is polished. JT's a very unpolished, uneducated, unintelligent bitch. That's what you got to understand. And I feel like if Isaiah Banks was from Miami or was from Florida and like if she was from Miami she would understand exactly who Jatavia is look at Jatavia and it's like your name it does it doesn't mean anything you who your mother who your mother names you does not define you but Jatavia is the definition of a Jatavia like she is the stereotype Jatavia is a stereotype and a, she is a stereotype and a statistic very much so okay so I feel like Isaiah Banks like JT is not a star. JT is definitely a bird. And she's proven that she's a bird. We want her to be a star because she, we, she, we see the potential and we see the bars. But JT has proven herself to be just any other old ghetto ratchet ass, nothing ass bitch. And I know this all too well because why? I'm from the city, but I'm not from their side though. That's the difference. I'm not from their side. 
I went to college. I actually got an education. I became something in life. You know what I'm saying? And I swear to God, if I ever had JT's platform, you would not see me using it like that. Bitch, I would be in, I would be on Cardi B's level somewhere because I would be smart. I would be on Cardi B's level somewhere. I would be a top right bitch if I was in JT's position because JT, she got everything set up for her to be successful. And this is a bird. She doesn't utilize her motherfucking um, resources and her potential wisely. Okay. The bitch isn't sick. The bitch is not incapable. She has all the things set up for her. She has everything set up for her to be successful. And because she's a bird, she chooses not to be. Okay. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Okay. So Azalea, Azalea, everybody sees the same thing with JT. But the thing is, is that me, I know very well exactly what type of girl JT is. JT's never, ever, ever going to make it past where she is because she's a bird. Your mentality is a, is a, is either going to propel you or cripple you. JT does not have that mentality that Cardi B has. JT doesn't even have the mentality. Both of them hoes is birds, but Carisha's better off. Okay. At least she's on billionaire dick, I guess, but they both are birds. Okay. They're, they're ghetto. They're birds. That's why they they are where they are now chasing dick instead of trying to figure out, let's make another album. Let's, you know, collaborate with Cardi. Let's go to the winning team. Let's do this and that. So we can, you know, make a bag and a coin for ourselves. They'd rather be, they'd rather chase dick and be financially secure through dick. You know what I mean? So I get what Azalea is saying, but Azalea just stay in Miami. I wish she would have grew up in Miami so she could understand who the fuck JT and Carisha is. Ghetto. Hood bitches. Boogers. Where's his fucking... Like clearly the bitch can't afford fresh produce. So what are you doing, JT? I'm just being a bird. A ghetto you bird. You are too pretty. You're too pretty. You're too fucking pretty to be looking like that. I still never even fucking heard the song. Me either. Yeah, I still never even. <laughs> That's what got me. That's what gets me. That's what gets me. That's what gets me, guys. I have never heard Super Free Girl either. I have not heard that song. It's never interested me. And even if I don't like Nicki, if something is, is popping, I'm going to listen to it because I love music. But I have not even been interested in, remotely. I haven't even been a little bit interested to listen to Super Free Girl. I haven't listened to nothing, not the original or the remix, because I'm not interested at all. Like Isaiah Banks, I still haven't heard it. Fucking heard the song. I really don't want to hear it, cause I don't, I don't want to hear some fucking forty-year-old bitch that just like push them all fucking like ill after birth placenta. Like, yeah, your bowl probably ripped on the table. You probably had to stitch that shit up too. Like no, I don't want to hear about your like cheesy healing fucking smell like cheese whiz. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, yeah. So yeah, guys, you know that's pretty much um, like hold on, let me pull something up. So that's pretty much you know Azalea Banks. Oh, this is Gina. I'm so happy for her. That used to be Diddy's um, shorty. And she moved on. And I'm happy she moved on. Um, <laughs> Cardi. Um, so, yeah, guys. Like, I just basically was snapping because I just was, like, appalled. Like, at these bitches. They're the audacity of these hoes. Malibu Ditch took me, like, she blew my mind. And then... And then you got, like, Cardi, you know, I would just tell her, like, if I could ever speak to Cardi or if anybody around Cardi, like, offset her husband, anybody, I wish they tell her, like, yo, this bitch, look at this bitch. Look at the last bitch. You don't need to speak or, or I don't give a fuck how street or how, yes, Cardi, we know, like, you bought that life. And Cardi has a temper and she's very, very like impulsive. Cardi needs to learn. Like if you got to go to anger management or therapy, do that, Cardi. You need to learn 
to let these bitches die. Like Isaiah said, let these bitches die. Let these bitches ruin themselves. These bitches is broken poor. Let these bitches die. Megan Thee Stallion has not responded to Nicki Minaj yet. You need to take the Megan Thee Stallion route and not respond to none of these bitches that Nicki Minaj is affiliated with, that she's sending. You need to not respond to none of these hoes or Nicki Minaj. You need to go ahead and continue to be the rock star that you are. You are a diamond selling artist. You are a Grammy award winning artist. You are a songwriter. You are a fucking great rapper. You can out rap all these bitches that basically I just mentioned. Okay. These hoes are not going anywhere. They're hungry. They're thirsty. They're starving. They need food. They need water. You cannot feed these children. You got two kids. You got, you got actually, it's, it's Kalia, the two sons from Offset, Wave, and then you got um, Culture, father of five, okay, you got five kids, you cannot put these hoes on your motherfucking roster and give them wick and give them formula and all that shit, like, you cannot afford, you can afford them, but you cannot, you don't have to feed these bitches, let Nicki Minaj feed her children that she's using, okay, and don't, and don't come up to the hood with these poor ass whores in front of their neighborhood getting bit by mosquitoes that bites them. You don't want that type of germ. You might end up with influenza. Don't do that. Don't stoop to these bitches level. And it's like, I really, I, and it's, it's hard because like when you a Cardi B, I'm the, I, I got, it's sad when you got a temper too, cause I got a temper and I know that if a bitch try me, I'll be the first bitch on the block. But the thing is, is that uh, like even me, I've learned, listen, Pop your shit, like Isaiah said. Pop your shit if you want to. But I wouldn't even say that at this point. I wouldn't even say pop your shit. You've popped your shit already. But it's better to pop your shit than to pull up. I just want Cardi to decline, like gradually go from pop, go from pulling up to popping your shit. Go from popping your shit to being silent. Don't say shit to these bitches. Let these bitches starve, okay? Okay? And oh, JT's so pretty. I used to think JT was very beautiful too, but now JT's the ugliest bitch to me in the world because her attitude, the way she acts, the way she carries herself, I don't respect her as a woman and I don't see her. Beauty comes from the inside. I don't care how beautiful you look on the outside. If your insides are ugly, you're ugly to me. JT is very unattractive to me. I would never waste my time with a gutter, uh, with a gutter rat like that. I don't care how good she looks on the outside. I would look at JT and be like, ill. I'm not fucking with you, shorty. I don't care how, how exfoliated you look now. I don't care what they did to you after the fame to make you look good. I don't want you. I would never date a JT. And that's why Uzi don't take her dumb ass serious. Because looks, it don't matter. It's not about the outside. It's about the inside. She is a gutter rat. I would never, ever date a JT. And then it's like Azalea Banks. I would date Azalea Banks before a JT because Azalea Banks is a beautiful brown skin girl. She got a head on her shoulders. And she's very, 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 very smart when it comes to, you know, music, when it comes to her money, when it comes to surviving in this industry, okay? She's not the industry favorite because she talks the truth. And when you speak the truth, people are not going to like you, okay? But Isaiah Banks is not a broke bitch. Isaiah Banks is paid out here. Isaiah Banks goes overseas and does shows, okay? Isaiah Banks makes money. I would date Isaiah Banks because she's a real ass bitch. She's not stupid. She's educated. She's eloquent. She has a high vocabulary. I would never hear Zaya Banks say, oh, is I'm American? What? I would be mortified if I had a girlfriend that said in front of anybody, is I'm American. But shut the fuck up. I would slap the fuck out of her for being dumb. Go home. You're embarrassing me. So for me, the beauty is Zaya Banks to me. If you want to talk about pretty and brown, let's talk about Kelly Rowland, my girl crush, and Zaya Banks. But I don't fuck with a JT. I don't think JT's beautiful at all. Okay? Because it's about the insides. So I just don't want, I don't need Cardi to talk to none of these hoes anymore. The next bitch that come Cardi, let them, let these hoes, let them fight, let them fight for, for bones. Let them, they're hungry. You cannot feed them. And I hope Cardi does not feed these bitches anymore. The Malibu ditch girl just proved that Cardi doesn't need to go back and forth with none of these bitches anymore. Like Isaiah said, and I know that Cardi saw everything Isaiah said and I know Cardi's a street bitch, so she's going to be like, I don't give a fuck. Y'all hoes not going to try me. No, Cardi, you have nothing to prove. We already know that you gets busy. Leave these bitches to, to, the, to the corner. Let these bitches stay on the curb where they are, okay? Leave these bitches on the corner where they are. Let these bitches die. Let them die, okay? 
and pay Nicki Minaj's old ass and no mind. She's 10 years. She's 11 years your senior. This bitch is old. Okay. We are all young. We are all either in our late 20s or 30. No more than 30. Cardi's 29, I believe. We're all young. Nicki Minaj is an old ass bitch. Okay. Like you got this bitch in a, her, you got her, you got her diapers in a bunch. Imagine you being a bitch that looked up to Nicki Minaj like Cardi did and you end up and you, and you, you end up coming in the game and beating her. She's sick. She's sick. She's mad about that. You looked up to her. You congratulated her. You always was a fan of Nicki Minaj. And then you came in the game and took her spot and beat her ass and she can't take it. You took her spot. Take that shit. Run with it. Go with it. And be successful, baby. Like, don't respond to these bitches no more. Like, these bitches is not worth your time. These bitches is broke, dusty, stressed, and depressed. Period. Like, period. Okay? And it's sad because the bitch that had the most potential out of all of them was JT. But she's a bird. She's just like them. She's, she's, not, she's just like them. Okay? No longer to me has any potential because she's a bird, like I said. And if you're from Miami, you understand. Okay? But anywho, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think. I had to sound off really quickly because it was just disgusting to see, like, all of these bitches trying to come up and gang up on Barty. And the bitch that got her biggest hit, the bitch with actual records and actual hits, lines herself up with the Z-listers to go against Cardi. Now, JT, you're going to have to stay over there. You could never get a record out of Cardi again. I hope you know that. The city girls is overweight. Bitch, you burned your bridges with Cardi. I hope you know that. You're going to have to stay with Nikki ass. I hope you know that. She's going to die soon because she's old. So I, 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 I hope you don't try to double back and go be with Cardi. Because Coyle Ray tried to do that. Coyle Ray picked her side. Okay? And Coyle Ray is very depressed now, I can tell. Because she sat up there and was gassing Nikki only for Nikki to turn on her. And then she started to try to like things for Cardi. And Cardi paid her no mind. Y'all hoes can't go back to Cardi once y'all go to Nicki Minaj's old ass, sex offender, pussy having ass. Y'all could never. Y'all could never. Like, y'all can't go back. Okay? Y'all fucked up. Coyle Ray fucked up. She know that. JT fucked up. She know that. All them hoes fucked up. Okay? And I know that And I know that Cardi B, all of this is happening to her. I know that her second album is going to be fucking dope. I know her second album is going to be fucking amazing. That's why every time Cardi drops something or does something, these barbs get up in arms. These barbs get upset because they know, they feel it. They know, like, bitch, your fave is done with. Cardi took the spot. Get over it. Get over it. Like, kiss the ring and kick rocks, bitch. <laughs> Anywho, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think.